everybody, and welcome to Digium Live. I am your host, Brian Ferguson. So as many of you know, Digium has come a long way and done a lot in the communications industry to really change things with the uh, open source Asterisk project. And as a company, we continue to do things to explore the next generation of communications so that we can provide services that companies of all sizes can do more with communications. So that brings us to today's guest, Charlie Wilson, who is head of the Respoke project here at Digium. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right, Charlie, so let's jump right in and tell us a little bit about what Respoke is and what it offers. Okay. So Respoke is a web-based service that offers a platform for web and mobile developers to add communications to their websites and mobile apps. Um, and I know that's a mouthful, but uh, essentially what it means is that a web developer using just JavaScript and the open source libraries that we provide can do high definition, secure uh, voice calling, video calling, instant messaging, screen sharing, things like that, and add that to their website such that their customers can use, um, can use the technologies inside a browser without downloading any apps or plugins or anything like that. All right, so Respoke's relationship with Digium uh, is pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. We've heard uh, several people call it like a virtual startup. Can you tell us a little bit about how the relationship works and um, the history of it? Sure. So, you know, Digium has a history of um, being very software developer friendly. Uh, of course, the Asterisk project, an open source project uh, that encourages software developers to get involved. But when we started uh, getting into the depths of WebRTC and trying to decide how we were going to offer a WebRTC service, we decided that the audience was a little bit different than a traditional Asterisk developer marketplace. And so what we did is we carved off a team to go target web mobile developers. And so about 18 months ago, we, we pulled the team off into the corner of the headquarters building and we started developing uh, what is now Respoke and using uh, lean startup principles that are kind of the, um, all the rage in the industry today to go, that startups are using. And so we worked on that for several months and we come, came up with a uh, minimum viable product uh, about a year ago that we started showing to customers and let, letting customers use and getting feedback from customers. And then late last summer, we, we opened the service up to early adopters. And then earlier this year, we did a more formal launch of the service and have been going strong ever since. Well, great. So um, you mentioned WebRTC, and that's mm -hmm. a term that's getting a lot of traction in the communications industry today. So can you give us a little bit of overview of what WebRTC, WebRTC is and um, how businesses can use it today? Sure. So. Probably the easiest way to talk about WebRTC is how the end user would take advantage of WebRTC. And basically what happened was Google and Mozilla and Opera software took the technologies that are required to do audio calls and, and video calls, and they took the technology and they built it into their respective browsers. And so today, Chrome, Firefox, and Opera support WebRTC, and they allow um, just your every, everyday average web developer to put things into web pages that do video, and, and by the way, this is real-time, two-way, secure video right. that's, that's super high quality. Uh, the same with audio. Um, it, there is a data channel, so that if you need to share files or share data, that facility is there as well. And so it, it really opens up the communications realm to a whole new world of developers. And businesses will start to take advantage of this because uh, in addition to traditional modes of communications like phones and video conferencing platforms and things like that, now with WebRTC, any computer, any tablet that supports those browsers supports this high quality secure communications methods. Wow, I would imagine that's going to really open up businesses to a much bigger customer base than they'd ever could get to before. Yep. Yep. So. All right, well great. So. Um, you mentioned some businesses. Do we have um, some examples, um, just what Respoke has done, or some real, real world examples that you can talk about? Sure, sure. Um, so, you know, what Respoke and WebRTC do is, like I mentioned, it opens up the ability to add communications to all sorts of different web apps and mobile apps and things like that. Probably the simplest example that I can think of is a real estate customer that um, they have a website with different properties listed. And next to each of those properties, there's a button that a consumer can click the button and be instantly connected to the listing agent. And so what that does for the real estate broker 
is that there's no downtime from when a customer sees a property on the internet to when they find somebody to speak with. And so that's really helpful for the real estate broker because the more people they can talk to, they can create a relationship with, they can you know, really engage as a customer as opposed to having them search through a website or look through pictures on a, you know, a video or something like that. Right. Um, another really interesting application that we've come across recently is a customer that um, has a point of sale retail uh, application and so what they've done is they've integrated Respoke so that the cashiers that are using the point of sale can text or voice talk, you know, basically through the cash register to other cashiers, oh, wow. to stock clerks, to managers, to tech support. So there's no more calling over the intercom, sure. you know, price check in aisle five. They can, you know, be talking through the cash register and um, uh, and have communications that way. So that's that's been really interesting for that company to set itself apart in the in the POS space. Um, one of the more advanced examples is a customer is a company that's doing remote uh, test proctoring. And so what they do is they have a proctor that works from home, and then there are students that are taking tests out in the world somewhere. And so. The proctor will establish a video link to the test taker so that they can watch them to make sure they're not cheating. They establish a screen share so that they can see what the student is looking at to make sure they're not searching Google and getting answers that way. Uh, because there are multiple different streams coming to the proctor, they establish a chat session so that the, the test taker can ask questions via chat and not disrupt the other test takers. Um, and it's really, you know, and then they use the data channel to transmit, you know, if they need to transmit instructions or files or things like that. So it's a really neat application that encompasses all of what Respoke has to offer. Yeah, no more excuses for missing tests. That's right. right. That exactly. happens everywhere. <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, it's really exciting to see businesses really take advantage of WebRTC and mm -hmm. Respoke. So if I'm a business out there and I want to start doing some things, how do I get started with you guys? Well, the best way and the, the way we tell everybody to get started is go to our website, it's respoke.io, and you can sign up for a free account. And once you sign up for a free account, you will have an app ID, which is a string that you can embed into your website code, um, just right into your JavaScript, and then you can get started very quickly. Um, one of the things I'm most proud of as far as Respoke goes is you know, it's such a powerful and scalable service that we can scale up to, you know, thousands, tens of thousands of, you know, users. But the time it takes for somebody that's even the greenest of web developers to get started, they could create a video chat app in minutes. Wow. Um, you know, we have lots of samples out on GitHub. We have, um, you know, all of our sample apps are open source. Our mobile SDKs are open source, so people can take that code and get started very quickly and very, very easily. Great, and I understand we have some training that's going to be offered for that too, right? Yeah, it, uh, coming up at Astracon. So one thing I didn't mention is that there is a connector from Respoke into Asterisk. Uh, we call it Chan Respoke, and it allows people to do web-based calling directly into Asterisk using the Respoke service. And so at Astracon, we're going to provide a training session so that people can come learn how to integrate that into their businesses. Well, great. Charlie, I appreciate you coming on today and introducing our viewers to Respoke. Absolutely. And um, thank you for joining us today, and uh, we'll catch you on the next episode of Did You Mind?